Where are we off now, Jeremy? We're off to the Museum of Modern Art, I do believe, to look at some surrealist paintings on a surreal tour. Have you ever sculpted, Jeremy? Have you ever tried sculpting? Yeah, I was pretty handy at sculpting. But I just hadn't really done it, but I was always pretty good at it. That's why I do a lot of woodcuts, because that's not dissimilar. What would you describe your art as, Jeremy? This expressionist, you know, is the under the general term, definitely. But I always kind of thought I'd pitch myself pretty much halfway between the kind of German Expressionists and the American Abstract Expressionists. And then the kind of second wave of German Expressionists in the 80s, who were kind of like George Basil, it's like Art Pink, people like that who were kind of going when I was at art college and I went to see all these exhibitions. And I like that kind of putting the American Abstract Expressionist big gesture and, and a therapeutic aspect to just attacking something but putting it with something that's a bit more figurative, you know, so you can actually kind of say little things. Well, I never actually thought what it might be called. Therapy. <laughs> my first trip to the Tate Gallery, my first art teacher, Mike Georgeson, took me to the Tate Gallery when I was about 15 and uh, took about five or six of us up from school, took us to the pub first, all got absolutely slaughtered. Went to the Tate Gallery, which was the old gallery then, and uh, in the foyer, they had like an exhibition of kinetic art, you know, that moves self perpetuating motion sculptures. And I went in, I thought it was absolutely amazing. Next thing I know, massive scuffle going on. And my art teacher is there with his cock out pissing on it because <laughs> it turns out this is some art, art, art rival of his that he had this big hate war going on with and he didn't, couldn't believe he'd got into the Tate Gallery and he was pissed and so he pissed on it and got us all thrown straight back out again. <laughs> I was hooked on art ever since. All right, well, here we are. We're at the Dean Gallery in Edinburgh and uh, we can't feel, basically. So me and Tom and Dunstan are going in. We can have a bit of an artistic conversation. Guerrilla style -y. Marcel Duchamp's new rhinal. Is it? Well, it's, it's, yeah, it's, well, it's on the thing there. Eh? It's not standing the right way up to have a piss in though, is it? It was made by Marcel Duchamp in 1917. And it was... That's just what he called himself, right? Really? I think those, yeah, it probably says it down there. It's a kind of pseudonyms because he was getting, like, hate mail and death threats oh, and all yeah. sorts. But as far as I know, that's the first ready-made art. That was the first thing that was put in an art, you know, as a ready-made object. That was, no, yeah. I wonder, wonder where the original is, then? It's good job my old art teacher's not here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll suit him down to the ground. <laughs>